All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 191, Ideals of Theosophy by Annie Besant. Interesting work, also an interesting author. Link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon. Second and third links are to my books, blogs. If you like theosophy as a subject, I've got, I think, three other works, like The Epitome of Theosophy. I've got another work by Judge. Um, I, I've got, you know, one work by Steiner. I think he was a theosophist when he wrote it. Later on, he left theosophy to form anthroposophy. Uh, it's, you know, Steiner's um, uh, occult significance of blood. Excellent text, by the way. Uh, this is a basic sort of introductory overview of specifically what theosophy teaches. It's its basic idea of the afterlife as they envision it, which is really reincarnation in their case. David Chan, the link to Hinduism and so forth. Now, something must be said about the author, for the second and third sections are about criminal and social reform. They're technically political. Annie Besant initially was a firebrand activist. She took part in, in socialist rioting, actually. She was a socialist. Uh, initially before she got involved with religion and spirituality. She actually adopted Krishnamurti, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, you should definitely look him up, intriguing character. She was a strong proponent through her whole life uh, in political activism for the uh, separation of India from Britain, uh, from the British Empire, uh, independence for Ireland and so forth. So she liked politics a lot, and so this represents the fusion point. This represents the, the point at which she has gotten into spirituality, but she's fusing it with her political interests. Later on, it's all pure spirituality for the most part. It gets more and more mystic. This one, uh, some of the reforms that she proposes here actually were widely adopted. For instance, the idea of child courts, the idea of not treating children, small children, the same as adults on trial for, for all but the most egregious crimes, actually is a fairly modern invention, pretty much starts in the U.S., and she's like, hey, this is a good idea. We should make this, like, the, the norm everywhere. And indeed, for the most part, uh, in the Western world, it has. Not so much the Eastern world. I'm sure I don't know if it's the case in her in India, which she loves so much, uh, or in Ireland, to tell the truth. I don't know. I think isn't abortion still illegal there? I think. It's funny stuff. But then gay marriage is legal. It's a really interesting political uh, subject. Uh, but Basan is definitely an enigmatic figure. You know, b between adopting Krishnamurti and some of the activism she involved herself with, this is an overview of, in part at least, her own views. Um, that mesh with theosophy. They sort of mesh loosely with the philosophy of the system she had been employed and She's sort of the successor of Blavatsky in spirit for many uh, uh, sort of things within theosophy. She also lived to be like 90. I've noticed that a lot of these occult writers, they either die really, really young or they live to be like ancient. Like they turn into wizards or something. Like one of the... Uh, I can't remember exactly which one. Uh, one of the other works I edited recently, one of the female authors, she lived to be like... I mean, the uh, the medium that was being studied in it lived to be like almost 100 years old. And this is the Victorian era, and she was born in the mid-1800s. And the, she, she lived before the telegraph really existed in any widespread fashion and lived to see color TV uh, and nuclear weapons and stuff. So it's an intriguing lifespan. Uh, this is a very good work, though. If you are interested in theosophy, this is one of the core works. Like, like if there was sort of a basis of theosophy... You have some of these introductory writings by Besant, certainly by Steiner, his earlier works, and by Judge, essentially, those are the big three uh, that you'd be sort of taking off of, and Blavatsky's writings, of course. Um, so definitely highly recommended if that is an interest of yours. Again, link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon, second and third links to my books, blogs, there are other theosophical works. Most are under the spirituality and religion heading, uh, specifically because theosophy is its own, these are technically religious works technically sort of semi-canonical philosophical works attendant to that religious path. Although they don't call it necessarily a re religion, they say there's no religion higher than truth, and they say we investigate these phenomena. It's an interesting path. That's about all. Peace out.